Hey everyone, welcome to There's Nobody Here Named Josh, the podcast where we are true to the name that there's nobody currently here named Josh. My name is Kevin, and usually I am uh, joined by Will and or Aaron and, or both. But today uh, we're here with a very special guest. It is our producer, Adam Upper, a.k.a. Stump Chunkman. Pow, pow, pow. What's going on? Guy, well, this guy right now. There's no guy right now because there's no, you know, we're not really doing this to anybody but us at this precise moment. But today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do something a little different. Uh, we are going to do a commentary track to the Transformers movie from the 1980s. Uh, well, it's the animated movie, which is a tie-in with the animated show, which I think, if my memory serves, this is in between seasons three and four of the show. Okay, but so... It, but, it, but it's a movie, though, yes. It's, but Adam, it's not really, Adam but, knows more about this than I do. This is actually literally the first time I have ever watched this movie. Yeah, and I probably watched this when it came out, because... As I said, this movie came out in like what the mid '80s when the show was in, yeah, like the animated show was in its prime. Not the that's not the Michael Bay stuff. So if someone is no. here for the Michael Bay, the shitty Michael Bay movies. Just turn off now. Oh, or be or we'll show you the actual one good Transformers movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so the way I have this set up, I'm actually watching this on my phone. Uh, well, yeah. So, uh, so we could just. Uh, uh, what I was thinking was that uh, we'll just count this down. So, if everybody has this at home, they can just start at the same time we do. So yep. that, yeah. So we'll all be timed so, up right. as close as possible, or not. As close we'll as possible. Now, right this in. this re- this reminds me a lot of Mystery Science Theater three thousand. Yeah. You know, yeah, 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 I freaking love that show, and that's uh, for the folks at home if they know that show is where I got my my. my old Twitter handle, which is also my personal Instagram name, Stump Chunkman, from one of the episodes, uh, Space Mutiny, where they're making fun of the, like, it's like mini eighties like, muscle guy, and then just they're making the weird names throughout that, and a friend of mine back in the MSN days sent me a link when I was out at work one day, and I started watching it, it was just like all the names they were using throughout the movie. And it was, I was just fucking kill myself laughing, and that's where that came from. Well, there you go, Aaron. Every time at the end of at the end of every podcast when I go through the whole ending credits thing, I always say Adam Upper, aka Stump Chunkman, and Adam and and Aaron just just goes off the deep end. He loves that name. <laughs> so and, so now now when he listens, he knows the origins of that. Uh, name. Yeah, so he he didn't know where it was from before. No, he didn't. Well, I told him it was from Mystery Science Theater 3000, but I didn't but, know exactly the story. That, he, that he's generally aware of the show, at least? He knows yeah, what I think is. he's aware of it. I think. I think. Okay, so uh, the movie is an hour and 21 minutes long. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking. At, I hope it's an hour and 21 minutes long. Yeah, well, that, that includes like the credits and all that at the end, so like shave off like five to ten minutes off of that for actual movie right so. okay so now uh we're gonna get we're gonna get to this let's get to this right now uh so we'll count down i'll count down from three so I, i'm gonna pull a lethal weapon right now is it gonna be a three two one <laughs> go, go on one or is it three two one and then go three two one go so yeah okay so three yeah. two one then go all right, so okay. so 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 next one's gonna be real, folks. Yeah. So That's three, cool, right? two, one. All right. So All just right. heard that gong. All right. Here's, so we have the old the gong. Uh, gong. <laughs> Deg De Laurentiis Entertainment Group. Oh man, Marvel! Damn. So would this be considered the first Marvel movie? Uh, I'll have to look into that. So, like, because uh, I remember in the mid '80s there was the com- the comic that was with Marvel. So I'm not sure how that uh, ties in. And this right here is uh, Unicron, which wasn't in the uh, cartoons initially. No. No. This is like again. A, a, this is the first time yeah, I'm yeah, watching yeah, this. Yeah, and and uh, it's 
and this is uh, Orson Welles doing the voice of him. And really? This is, this is literally his last role. He was literally on his deathbed when he was doing this movie, and then he died shortly after, and they had to, like, modify his voice because he sounded like it. <laughs> oh. Oh, but yeah, But yeah, but yeah, this, this is Orson Welles' last role, is this. So, so is this what the Transformers look like before they came to Earth and took on... Uh, yeah, the, yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, no, th- no, this is a, a different planet. Oh. So... So, which just so happens to be mechanized people as well. Oh, okay. So this is so, like, is this like, like Transformers Krypton or something? Uh, like no, that? this, this would be, uh, Unicron is like, uh, Transformers Galactus where he goes and eats other planets for like, uh, energy okay. and whatnot. Okay. Now I get it. Maybe so, I, so this, so this is just random. This is not, uh. This is not the Transformers homeworld, though. No. This is just oh. random, random planet. Oh, okay. To, just to give you an example, of what yeah. Unicron does. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, but un- un- unlike the Marvel Galactus, uh, he doesn't have a Silver Surfer, which would be kind of cool. But hmm. so I wonder what wonder what the uh, Transformer version of the Silver Surfer would have been. I don't know. Maybe, probably something that looks. Would it like, like a Man. would it been like a hippie bus or something? You think? Would, would it be like an Iron Man type deal? Because it's kind oh, of yeah, like... But, or or like or I was thinking what uh, what is what do you transform into? They'd be like a uh, big big old sort of Ford or something. Yeah, maybe like like, 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 like how uh, leader of the bad guys. I'm. It was like a gun. He just he just. <laughs> Uh, that's Optimus Prime. That's the good guys. Yeah, but uh, bad, the bad guys is uh, Megatron. There you go. Yeah, that's what he, Megatron turns. Even into. I knew that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I just thought I was blanking on the name. Transformers. Yeah, yeah. I, I love the uh, soundtrack for this movie. I bought it at uh, Fan Expo on vinyl a couple years ago, mm-hmm. and about I think it was 2013. For one of the late night, uh, actually, before uh, put a pin in that. Holy crap! Check out there the, are idols yeah, in this check, movie. Check out the names of these people. There's like a the, this geez. movie is fucking this movie is fucking packed. Chad Nelson. Nelson, yeah, it's Hot Rod. Wow. Yeah, friggin' uh, Spock is in here. Yeah, Leonard there goes. Nimoy. Yeah, 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 Damn. yeah. That's where uh, Megatron gets turned into him, but that we'll see that later. Robert Stack. Robert Stack. Nice. Uh, I. I know who that is, but I just can't place him. Yeah, I don't know who yeah. L- Lionel Stander. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. Who that is Lionel. I, yeah, I don't know who that is. Yeah, Orson Welles. Yeah, is yeah, Unicron. yeah, yeah. Which is Unicron, which is the planet we just saw that ate the other planet. Oh, okay, all right. So he's like the yeah the planet eater. So he's like a like a yeah. The, he's, as I said, like, he's like the uh, he's a sentient planet. The pla- a planet the other planets. Okay. 2005? Yeah, way Jeez. way back in the future past. <laughs> you guys remember this movie? This is probably like, what, 1986? Yeah, jeez. That when this came out? Uh, so. Cybertron, there you go. Okay. So this is what the, the yeah, Autobots look like. Yeah, yeah, this, like. well, this is the Transformers homeworld. Okay, so this is what they look like before they take on the... Well, well, well yeah, before they got... Uh, where guy out on the out in the ship, and then they crash land on Earth, and then got woken up years later when humans on, and blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, but he's already a. He's already a. a... Yeah. That, yeah. As I said, that this is that this is between seasons three and four. So that oh, this is like, it's like mid story. Okay. So the back. So they've gotten back to uh, Cybertron in the show. Okay. And then you saw Laser Beak out in the back. That's one of the uh, bad guys. Uh, one, of the, one of the birds. Well, was one of my favorite toys, or the trans, or the Decepticons, where it's like uh, okay. had the t- the tape deck in his chest. Oh and yeah, one, you know what? I and, even and, had that one. Yeah, yeah, and, the, and one one of the two things that popped out was Laser Beak. Another one was a uh, little cat thing. Huh. Man, if there are spacesuits like that, I'd want to go into space. Oh man, did you did you see what the new spacesuits look like? Uh they're yeah, they're almost there, but 
still, they're not quite there yet. And plus, you'll see later on why I want this one. Oh, okay. So it's the same voice for Optimus Prime. Well, yeah, yeah, like everything's the same. It's all, all everybody from the show and everything. Yeah. Okay, but, but it's just but again, it's just I rarely ever watched the cartoon when I was a kid. I really wasn't really that much into Transformers as a kid. I I love them. They were great. I had a few, but I was more you know Thundercats, Silverhawks, Brave Star type deal. Yeah. But I had a buddy of mine, Joey who absolutely loved Transformers. Oh, he had every single Transformer on the planet. Yeah, yeah, that was, as I said, this was like, uh, because just like this show and the G.I. Joes and a couple other shows in this time frame, the mid-80s, this was just like a vehicle to sell toys, and that was the prime age for the show. So, so and this for, one... And for the toys. So, so the, yeah, dude that, the dude that was just talking... Yeah, yeah that, that was... was Megatron. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is uh, yeah, Frank uh, Frank Welker actually, which was at Fan Expo last year. I'll post this on the Twitter, Instagram later. And uh, I volunteered at Fan Expo, which is like the big con- big con in Toronto. Mm-hmm. And I won his uh, big uh, uh, stall uh, name thing or whatever. Nice. I'll, I'll I'll post it later. Nice. Uh, Space battle. Yeah, those lasers and stuff. And, uh, and, uh, and as I said, uh, pay attention to the soundtrack. It's fucking awesome. It's fucking... It's heavy! Never afraid, never afraid to Sorry. I'll stop singing now, because yes, I can't Yes, sing. please. Please do that. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and I was saying before to people that uh, when we first started to pay attention to the soundtrack, is that, like, I think it was 2013 Fan Expo, couple of friends are going to like an after party thing at a uh, bar in Toronto and uh and like the big thing was uh the Cybertronic Spree band it was like a band from Toronto that dressed up from like uh Transformers from this movie mm-hmm. and we're playing songs from the soundtrack including this one oh dude and it was, and it was fucking awesome just executed yeah. this with yeah. a point blank range yeah 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 just uh, just, uh, just wait till later on to what what he does Jeez. to yeah, that's only a third of what happens in this one, man. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, he just fucking. He's like, oh, too bad, guy. He shoots him in the face. <laughs> and and then st- just wait till you see what happens to Starscream later on. Oh man, which is like, uh, which is like uh, his number two, which has a fucking annoying ass voice. A giant robot catching a fish. Yeah, they get a fishing. Yeah, because because uh, you know robots need to chill out every so often. Yeah, yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. That thing looks like a sardine compared to him. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this is sim- oh. similar to the uh, uh, the uh, skateboard from... Uh, Back to the Future. Yeah, Back to the Future 2, yeah. Fuck, I... Yeah. Why am I fucking having troubles finding words? Because why I haven't talked to... Because why I haven't talked to some uh, actual people in so long. Word, words, words are hard. <laughs> yes, words are... Words are hard. Oh, I'm right in a Transformer. <laughs> it always makes me think of uh, the robot chicken uh, uh, skit where they like a trans, it was like a transformer with the kid people inside me. They transformed with a kid inside him and killed him because he just <laughs> got got smushed. He's he's like, oops. <laughs> and the soundtrack <laughs> in this thing, it is it's fucking out. Yeah, and they're wow. yeah, the, that band was playing this as well. Like uh, as I said, like I'll, po- I'll post. A, there's a couple of videos of this band that was playing playing this stuff. I'll post them later. It's fucking so awesome. And like one of the co sing uh, co lead singers was like RC, which is like a like a chick. It was like the one girl transformer from later on, but she was actually kind of hot. Oh, if you dare, that? yeah, because I was the ship that the uh, Decepticons took over. Yeah. Oh, gotta love the 80s tropes. Yeah. Gotta love it. Yeah, it's like the soundtrack's like totally 80s too. It's awesome. And like, and even Weird Isles on it at one point. Really? Yeah. 
It's fucking okay. awesome. Wow. Dare to be stupid. No, I think, no, wait. Stupid no wait, no, wait, that's not right. No, wait, that's not right. That's something okay. else. All right. Well, uh, then, then I'll guess. Yeah, I'll yeah, guess. yeah. Well, yeah, you'll you, you'll know what Susie heard. Yeah. And it was a uh, like a uh, style rip off of uh, shit. Some of my band I can't think of offhand. Hmm. Oh. That sound is so iconic. Oh yeah, oh yeah, D- Devo. Yeah, yeah. It was a style, it was the style parody of Devo, okay. like the, the song, which you'll you'll know when you hear it later on. Which is like a total eighty, <laughs> that huge like ass I'm fucking like mic- microscope. Yeah, <laughs> like that, that, like like that makes no sense. Like, why like, is he a fucking huge microscope? <laughs> like, what? Like, the rest of the stuff kind of make you you can say like they're like turned into cars because like in the show, trucks, they show that or... yeah, like uh, yeah. So like the microscope is the one that doesn't make the sense, and then number two is uh, Megatron where he turns into the fucking normal size gun because huh. he's a huge ass fucking robot. Then t- this guy, he's oh the super fast guy. Yeah, blur. <laughs> Oh, that the dude who did his voice was really popular in the eighties. Yeah, I remember yeah. him doing like Micro Machines commercials. Oh, Micro Machines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as I said, that that's uh, RC right there, the oh, female that's that lady uh, chick there. That's that yeah, lady. Yeah, yeah. I think I've probably sent you pictures of her before, yeah, yeah. and she's like one of the singers of the Cybertronic Spree. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, she's fucking pretty rad. So it's robots working robots. Yeah. Working machine. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like kind of like the uh, second Matrix movie where they're t- <laughs> yeah, Starscream there. Yeah, fucking uh, Megatron just fucking blows them away later. It's fucking nuts. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, the the robots on robots or machines on machines reminds me of the second Matrix. Oh, movie he got his leg like, stuck. Oh, nineteen eighties yeah. trope. Yeah, is he gonna get crushed? Oh no, he cuts yeah. his own leg off. No, no, he just shoots himself in the foot. <laughs> oh. What you do? Oh, yeah, that's what you normally do. Oh, yeah. look a whole. And it's just yeah, Transformers. Yeah, I think I think I think I think this was like a big ass toy that from like uh, two that you could like put together and stuff like. From really, the, I think I might have had this toy actually. Kind of like the USS Flag from. Yeah, yeah, like the, G. G. Joe, the huge right? ass GI Joe toy. Yeah, so yeah. I think there's a similar. I think it might have been this. And I think I might have had it. Oh man! Like back in like, oh, there are bugs. There's bugs now. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, yeah. You know, like you know, like met- metal moths. Uh, the, the, next, the, the next thing you do is like a big transforming dildo or something. Like, well, well, then there's then there's the uh, the Dinobots that were in the show oh. that they're fucking the ro- oh. that are, like they found that they're like the robot they're uh, robot yeah. dinosaurs. Oh. They're pretty. They're pretty. Rad. You know, that's a thing. And then the the the, the main one was Grimlock, the uh, Transformer, uh, the Transformers Rex, and he was. Real stupid. Okay. Ultra Magnus, yes. That's Ultra Mag- the one in the chair. No, um, that's the name of the whole thing. That's Transformers. No, no, right he's now? a one. Is uh, one of the other Transformers? He's like the, oh. I guess, like the s- second in command. I guess. Okay. He'll be. He'll be important later. <laughs> Sound wave. There you go. That, yeah, that's the uh, yeah, yeah. That has like the two de- tape, two tape. tape deck. Oh, there's three of them. Four. Oh shit, four. Wow, look at that. Yeah, the yeah. I, I remember the uh, the cat and the uh, bird because I because I had those, but I forgot about the other two. <laughs> do, 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 do. Whole movie is just a bunch of fights. Reminds me of like uh, listening to one of Kevin Smith's uh, podcasts because he's doing the remake of the He Man show. And oh, I can't he- wait for that! And, and and they don't really write the fight scenes. So like when they need a fight scene, they just write fighty fighty, and then they'll just <laughs> animate it. So it does make me think of fighty fighty in the in the script for this. <laughs> So that kind of gives the animators free reign to kind of 
do what to do and be like, or they probably write in like this does this or sort of thing. But huh. wow. Okay, cool. Uh, w- wouldn't you think that these robots would have like super strength, right? You would think, but, but that. of course, but of course, they're also fucking super heavy too. So that kind of yeah, is. that's true. So it'll be like. Uh, a, a human trying to drag another human, right? So, so unless, so like maybe one of the, some of the bigger robots could drag the smaller ones easier. And that little like boy a, is doing, yeah, like he's like the he, one that's pushing it all. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, thanks, kid. He's, you couldn't do it. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, kid did it all by himself. Yeah, yeah. If the kid wasn't here, we couldn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> And and actually, like one of the uh, one of the people in the band is this kid's father. Like we'll see it, which was in that suit. Oh, was... they're like they, they just yeah, like megazorded the whole thing. Like, yeah, yeah. These are the uh, the evil version it's of like, the Decepticons. Yeah, they're like the Constructicons. There you go. They just they're like, the Const- Constructicons, and they're when the Power they're... Rangers come in. Is like... yeah, yeah. So they, yeah, the the. the <laughs> I think that the, the Dinobots can do a similar thing where they can build like a super dinosaur or whatever, to f- and it's to fight these, this guy because oh, I think they both showed up in the same episode of the uh, the original show. The hell did this shoot at? Was... Which I think was season one. I think was when the Dinobots showed up because like, I actually had bought the uh, pew, pew, pew. first season the, the first season of on DVD. Uh-huh. Back like before DVDs, like seasons of DVDs were a thing. So I had to like go from Peterborough to Toronto to the Silver Snail, which is like the big famous comic book store in Toronto, and they were selling it there. So I, great, I, so I was great like, store. I've been yeah, there. it was like nineteen ninety nine or two thousand or something like that. So I like it was, it was like a day trip just to go from still there, and I bought the first season list because a customer right oh, uh, there's right, Grimlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There he yeah, is. yeah the Dinobots, yeah. Yeah, there's the tire. And he's sorry, flying. T- why why yeah. is he flying? Well, I, well, yeah, it's probably like uh, just kind of like Buzz from uh, oh, Toy okay, Story. So it's like fall style. Just, fall, just yeah, ninja just like, kicked him right out of yeah, the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, fall, he like fell, well, he fell right into his fucking like, foot, though, so it was kind of his own fault. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Because I, uh, oh. I used to work, because when I worked at Tim Hortons, like, one customer had a Transformers hat, so he's like, Started talking about that, and then he's like, "Oh, I found the uh, first season at the Silver Snail, and that's you got the touch." I had that toy. I had Optimus. Prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, me too. I yeah, had that. The, yeah, and the band sings this song too. It's fucking awesome. I think the first uh, first night I saw the band, I think I think it was 2013. I just fucking like lost my shit seeing these guys. Oh, smug! Just yeah. runs them all over. <laughs> He's like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> <laughs> why shoot you? With, why shoot in the face with lasers so I can really now? Now I'm that. immune to lasers. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm only immune to lasers when I'm in truck mode. Yeah, truck form. Yeah. Guy just like, comes like, in, wonder, rambles what, them all. Yeah, I wonder if you can like wonder twin into like a super semi. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, the guy who does uh, Optimus Prime's voice also does Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I knew that. And and also his name is and- John Blank on his name right now, but because it's not up on my because yeah, they initially I wanted his uh, name thing, but somebody else took it, so I grabbed uh, Megatron's instead. You got the touch. Oh, is that a laser sword? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's the eighties. Yeah, yeah, of course. You, you can't really call it a um, lightsaber, so it's laser. No, sword. it's a laser sword. Yeah, uh, who doesn't want a laser sword? Like, come well, on. every it's it's two thousand twenty, and people want laser swords. Right all two thousand five. Yeah, it was, so it's like ninety six. No, yeah, eighty six version of two thousand five. But yeah. of course, I still I still want a laser sword though, because that'd be right. That'd be rad. Ah, oh, two giant robots back and forth fighting yeah. like that. You got the power. Yeah, and I, I like that character, like old old man Transformer. 
I can't, yeah, I, th- I think he was just in this movie, but he's like, yeah. He's pretty oh. rad. Grant me mercy. Huh? I, I had that hot rod toy as well. He Sacrificing was like, he could, himself. Oh, yeah. so he's trying to save him, yeah. Right, right in the abdomen. In the, right in the abdomen, right in the gut. going to execute him? Oh, come on. Is it now, is it now that he gets looks some like, Looks like he made a rock. Oh, the last little bit of energy to fight yeah, the, the bad uh, guy. Yeah, the uh the double fist uppercut. Yeah, that's the that's the uh the it's like Captain, a, that, Captain like Kirk a, punch. Yeah, or like I was going to say like a, or like a wrestling type move, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, is it the Captain Kirk like overhand? I think so, but it's like the the double yeah, fist. Yeah, oh yeah, the yeah, the uppercut uppercut version. Yeah. Yeah. He just kicks him. Oh, he's yeah. okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because so, yeah, yeah, that was always the Star Screams thing. Is he always wanted to be number one, but he always sucked. So that's why he never was able to take over. And so, just to make sure Megatron's okay, he just kicks him. Oh, he's well, okay. He just kicks yeah. him. Yeah. And then the yeah, then this one guy turns into a train. He just. There's no track, but he's able to drive okay. I just like the vi- the vision of that little guy carrying the, his cannon. Giant, just, giant, like, lo- giant cannon. Yeah, just he's like running afterwards. Just what up, guys? <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> yeah, that was just like a hilarious visual. I think I had this toy as well, the tank toy. I think at one point. This thing right here. Yeah. It's like this, like. Yeah, but, 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 but it was just the tank. It was just like the train version. What it, it didn't t- it change into the uh, plane, I don't think. Or I don't remember. It, might, it may have. Oh, no. Like, I couldn't call myself a geek if I didn't know what happens. Yeah. I've never yeah. seen this movie. Honestly, truthfully, I've never seen it. But yeah. I know what happens here. Yeah, and I will admit, uh, Grant, I was probably like, Six or seven years old when I saw this movie, but I legit cried. You like legit seven. like just do not. Oh, oh yeah, I, like I cried. I was gonna say I cried like a little kid, but I was a little kid. Did you have your deep voice like you do now when you? Yeah, were, like, probably. Yeah, so I, yeah, like actually, yeah, yeah. So yeah, my actually my kindergarten teacher wanted to hold me hold me back here because she thought I couldn't talk, but I just because I had a fucking deep ass fucking voice. <laughs> so so it probably was in and around this point actually. So yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid kindergarten teacher, fuck you. <laughs> Where the hell your name was? I don't know. Look at you now. I don't know. Yeah, the power yeah, the power matrix, which I think they do bring up in the uh, shitty Michael Michael Bay movies. This is where it's from. Oh, he's opening his chest now. Yeah, which is like the uh, the which is pretty much like the power of good, I think, or the or whatever. Which I also think they just also explained, but I wasn't listening. Yeah. So so Optimus as he's dying. Yeah, it, yeah, it rips yeah, his to, heart out. Yeah, to be it's, it's to be like the the leader of the Transformers is to protect that was what it was sort of thing. T-transforming. Uh, so he's going to uh, Ultra Magnus. That dude right there. Yeah, which as I said earlier on, that's... <laughs> so you're just like Iron Man's head into his chest. <laughs> like, boop. His little waver and... Oh, oh. Yeah, so the, oh. the, the flicker and knife. And he's gone. So yeah, so imagine like six year old producer Adam like crying his eye. Then why he, did why he did he go it. gray? Well, because you know when he, when you know vehicles die, they gray. They just lose all their color. Yeah, I guess. That's... So yeah, so so as I was saying, imagine produ- uh, six year old producer Adam like crying after that because because <laughs> Optimus Prime died. So if uh, so if anybody watched the show and didn't watch the movie, like that's what happened between season three and four, and then later on. There's like a fake 
uh, Optimus Prime, and then he comes back, and then they end up racing off into the horizon and come back, and he's like, see, I won, and I'm the real Optimus, and blah, 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 so yeah, they'll come uh, back. okay. As, so it has, like, a Jesus complex in it. Or whatever, like or, or, or just, like, similar to uh, comic book things. Like, yeah, okay. No one ever really dies. Okay. So he has the Starscream uh, taken over. From from Megatron, right? Yeah. So, yeah, because Megatron's uh, quote unquote died. Okay. But if you saw it, yeah, so he's like, so he's like, oh, screw you, Megatron. Oh, he's still, still alive. He's like, nope. Just freaking kills him right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, like, the space version of thrown him overboard. Like, walk the plank, but we'll push you instead. Uh-huh. What? Oh, Devastator. I was, I was saying... Constri- yeah. yeah, Devastator is the uh, name of the one that they... Now they're together. all going to fight amongst each other? Yeah. Man, this Wonder- stereo has Wonder- a lot of room yeah. inside. It's weird that this ship was able to hold like the Devastator, like when he was fully built, put together. Because it doesn't look like it's that tall. Like the ship like, must be massive. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, did, it, did look like, it did look like it was that big, and then he was able to fucking form of Devastator. Wait, together. wait a second, wait a second. What I don't understand is that if Megatron, Megatron's a robot. He's a giant yeah. sent sent robot. Yeah. He doesn't breathe or anything like that. That a normal, yeah. like organic yeah, thing. So it's, yeah, so he's, not, he's, so he's not dead because of lack of oxygen. He just got like shot or whatever, right? Okay. He does sound like he's dying. Yeah. So yeah, they had they had to they had to if I can modify his voice, so it didn't sound as bad. And I, I think I like the vinyl version of his like recording of the War of the Worlds from like way back when caused people to go into a panic. Huh. It, it sounds pretty good. It uh, seems this to be three, like. This three changes into Galvatron and Leonard Nimoy's voice. Oh, okay. I thought Galvatron was a completely different. Okay. Ultra Magnus. You would make a great Unicron. Are you dubious? Talk to me, my giant space asshole. This is the other. <laughs> he Wait, looks like a giant uh, space uh, asshole. Wrong person. Uh. <laughs> oh man! I imagine this was. Wasn't this all like hand drawn? Sorry. Was this all hand drawn? Okay, I'm deaf. I need to turn this down. Say it again. Was this all hand drawn? Like was uh, it all done I, by hand? I, I believe so. Or it's probably some of the stuff like this right here may have been like early CGI, but I believe the bulk of it was hand drawn. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can turn the volume up on uh, Discord because I am old and deaf. You're not that much older than me. Yeah, but I'm still fucking deaf as a. Oh. Yeah, getting turned into Galvatron, and he has some little friends as well. So, Galvatron, nice ship. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I, I like the. I always like the eighties style ships and stuff. They're always real cool. Yeah, yeah. It's a good old Spock. Yep. Long and prosper. I wonder if this is before or after uh, In Search of... Well, sorry, probably after. I could have think In Search of... Well, when was search. this? Uh, like 85 or 86? I think it might have been after. Yeah, it's cause I, yeah, I think In Search of was like... Yeah, definitely earlier. Earlier 80s. Yeah. Oh, now... Yeah, Are those so... trumpets that they're playing? Are yeah. those uh, yeah, Transformers yeah, even, too? Yeah, even though, you know, like... Uh, no, guess not. R- r- robots have don't love lungs to be able to push air, but they'll be able to play trumpets. <laughs> did, but, you know. Why is he wearing a cape? Like, did well, did, well, did Megatron are, ever wear a cape? Well, man, if I was a leader of fucking anything, and I want actually, I, I'm not a leader of anything, then I want a cape. So, if you were able to have a cape, would you not wear a cape? Have you not seen The Incredibles? Hey, do you not know fucking the coolest character in Star Wars, Thando fucking Calrissian? He wears does a cape. He, does he wear a cape? Yes. Well, then that that just says it. Everything should have a cape, then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, oh, it, oh, he got he melted. Oh, Why did he yeah. melt? Or he just yeah, he just, yeah, he just fucking yeah. So it, because before he turned into a gun, and now he's a, the cannon, just fucking totally yeah, okay, it, it obliterated him. So we we're as I said, we, that was what I was talking about earlier. Where he just kind of blew off the one uh, guy's head. He just kind of obliterated Star Scream. Okay. <laughs> Galvatron! Oh, here comes a giant space planet eating thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah, Unicron, Unicron yeah. The... the giant space asshole! <laughs> Oh, Earth. We're back on Earth now. Okay. Why why did he have to transform it back into his 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 uh boombox shape in order to get this? Uh cuz that's the only way the antenna works. I don't know. Because <laughs> you wanted to show that it was a cool boombox, I guess. Because oh, you know, okay. well, that, make, that makes you know, sense. Because you know, because you know, 80s and boomboxes and stuff. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I had one in the 80s, and I was a kid in the 80s. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, there it is. Yeah. Spike, yeah, yeah, there you go. Like one of the, uh, I think one of the guitar players in the band is uh, Spike, the Spike character. Oh, huh? oh my God, the dad! Oh, countdown from twenty. Unicron is just a giant space vacuum. Yeah. It's like a, just like a space Kirby. <laughs> just not as cute. Yeah. Oh. Unicron just brushes it off. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. I knew it. And he heard us heard that. He's like, oh, shit, it didn't do anything. So he actually, yeah. I think even a six-year-old me was like, oh, my God, they said shit. Yeah. And I, and I, and I always forget about it. And every time I hear it, I'm like, oh, yeah, they do they do fucking slide that in there. <laughs> I, I, I forget about it every single time. Until they say it. Because, you know, as a... As, uh, plan A and Plan A, you have uh, mental powers to. Yes, well, obviously, if you, that is par for the course, right? As you, uh, as you do. As you do.
Of course. Bet you will. I bet you do. I just got this and, feeling. Yeah, we remember that, folks, for later on. That's uh, may or may not be a tiny bit of uh, foreshadowing. They, a feeling? Oh my god! Foreshadowing. <laughs> 80s are filled with foreshadowing. Kind of a name, like Optimus Prime. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazon all Prime. All these great Music, names. But it's it's Ultra Magnus, right? And Hot pew, pew, pew. And, then, and then RC is the chair. Yeah. up the ramp. Why does he have to push him up the ramp? Because they're the it, fucking ramp. Because they're, cause they're stupid dino- they're portraying that because dinosaurs had small brains. He's stupid. He won't get on the plane. He's not it. a dinosaur. He's a robot. That but, looks but like a, a dinosaur. He's a, he's a dinosaur robot. <laughs> <laughs> that means they have less RAM than regular oh, robots. Okay. All right, that, we'll go with you that. Because you know movies. Because, you know, movies, right? Exactly. And, yeah, that, that was one thing I never understood when I was a kid. It's like, why does a robot have a fucking lasso? Why not? <laughs> that, that, that's the thing that doesn't make sense. Why not? Because <laughs> a stupid dinosaur robot makes more sense than the robot having a lasso. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Come on. Get with it, Adam. Get with it. <laughs> Oh man, I don't that, like these, these dumb characters. When when a character is portrayed as as not all there, he gotta talk like this. He must have a stupid voice. It's just it's, well, well, if he well if you he breathe if he breathes a fire, I think he'd probably sound like that too. But, <laughs> but, but but yeah, but 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 like so with this this one, I can uh, I can I can give it a pass. But yes, I, as a whole, dumb characters do. Which is why it always got they me. They must from. always talk like this and what? not complete sentences. What, what you talk about. Yeah. <laughs> a... Me no failing. Me fail English? That's <laughs> yeah. impossible. Can't forget the, can't forget the, uh, the hot chick robot. No. No. How are they going to procreate? So I wonder. So if they have like a, a jack, like a jackhammer, like attachment for that or something, you think? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I, I kind of picture it as as kind of like a Phillips head screwdriver. You know what I mean? Oh. Put put it in there, and I don't know, like a drill. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that doesn't sound that doesn't sound appealing for the other end, though. No, not really. As I said, yeah, he's like old man robot, so he's like saying like old, old war. Transform stories. into like a like a walker or something like I, that. Like I like I a, can't re- actually I can't remember what he transforms into. I think it might he, be it might be a car. Like a, trans- mini car. Like, like a Model or a, T Ford yeah, or something, yeah, like, like, or, or like or like an old walker, I think, or something. <laughs> Or like, or like, or like, a, or like a cane. <laughs> that, but, but like the cane that has like the four little fucking legs at the bottom instead of just the one. Yeah. We're only forty minutes into this movie. Oh yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, old man, old man robot has got eaten by uh, Unicron. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's when we run into uh, Weird Al. 
old man was eaten by Unicron? Well, 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 well spoil it well, for well, me. Well, I, well, yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but like forty minutes in, that's like oh, that's like almost halfway through the movie, though. Because remember, like eighties movies, like an hour and a half movie was like a long movie. Then I remember like early nineties, two hours, like I remember like coming home, like like folks used to started ready, to really like, expand, right? Yeah, and then like uh, that two hours long, we're like, holy shit, that's movies fucking all night long, and now yeah. we're, like now we watch three movies, and they're like, ah, Lord of the Rings, or like yeah, 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 like, yeah, fucking five hours long, or like yeah, you have to bring like like pillows and blankets just to watch it. Yeah, and then, for, and then for, <laughs> or like or like me for Endgame last year, I fucking didn't drink anything that day, so I wouldn't have to like go up to go to the bathroom like halfway through. <laughs> I'm sure that was probably good for my health, but. Probably not. <laughs> arf, arf. Oh, of course it's but, too dangerous. Well, they, they, like, separate the saucer, like, in, uh... In Star, Star Trek. Trek. Yeah. Three? It's too dangerous. Wait, was that Star Trek 3 or 4? I think I had to end it. Separate the saucer, though? Yeah. They only... They only... Well, oh, one the movie, it, it, yeah, well, they only... I think it was Star Trek three at the end of Star Trek three, wasn't it? I, guess first I, don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I think. It, yeah, I think. It, yeah. Ooh, I remember. There you go, of course. I, I, I remember watching Entertainment Tonight that back when that was like a relevant show, and then doing like a huge model for for that, for like a for that movie. The Matrix died. Of course not. The Matrix comes back now. It's your guy for being too arrogant, man. Do you think he yeah. destroyed him just because the shit blew up? Classic Megatron arrogance. He's not Megatron. He's yeah, but, yeah, but he still carries it over. That's the one thing that still carries over. Yes. Math. Fish. Robot fish. Robot always, space fish. I've always wanted robot fish. <laughs> what? Now they're underwater? Well, this is another planet, right? Okay. Yeah, they also do this song, like the Cybertronic Spree. No. And for the Canadian listeners, like, after they do their songs from the Transformers movie, they also do, like, uh, the theme song for the Raccoons show. Oh, okay, if, if, I if remember, you remember that. Yeah, and, and then there was that Pokemon theme and oh. another theme. A car that transforms yeah. underwater. Yeah, and then I think last time I saw them, they added the uh, oh, song. Oh, Robo Squid. That everything's the that, that, that looks like fucking like, like a Mega Man, like a uh, like yeah, like a like a mid level boss. Yeah, <laughs> Robo Squid Man. Yeah, and like uh, I think it was last time I saw the Cybertronic Spree, they added the uh, but uh, the end song from uh, Kung Fury, the song that uh, I should I need to see these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once, like, once uh, we once we can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like uh, yeah, like, like next uh, next con whatever that is uh, that we play in. So if we need a plan to come down, I hope I hope uh, I can uh, and come out because they they because they, uh, the first. Two years they played at the Horseshoe Tavern, which is a somewhat famous Toronto bar. Oh, the dude got his leg eaten. Yeah, and then then now they play at the Rec Room, which is like the uh, the the arcade bar. And then there's like a uh, like a shit send up oh, in the back. Yeah, bits and pieces of them flowing everywhere. Yeah, kind of reminds me of that uh, that uh, Canadian commercial. He's like. I, I can I, I can put myself back together, but you can't. I hated that commercial. Oh, that was starting so freaky. Ah, <laughs> uh, way to creep out little kids. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. Crash lands on the planet.
Yeah, sure. That giant robot was able to go on top of this tiny little kid without crushing him into a fucking pancake. Yep. Think I know why you want one of these. Yeah. Can you transform? Come on. Uh, how about you didn't show what the exosuit could do? Oh, yeah, yeah, it will. Okay. Is yeah. Eric Idle right there? Yeah. Learns from like uh, Earth transmissions and stuff, so that's uh, so that's how I learned how to talk. That's why he sound, it sounds weird. Transform. Yeah, I can't remember if he actually does or not in this one. It's been a couple of years. Oh, there. oh there he is right there. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I, I unjinxed it, yeah. He transforms into a small ca- car? Yeah. Like a yeah, truck? Little, 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 yeah. Like what? Or it I... almost looks like a um, fucking the, uh, the car truck, the... It was in yeah. this, that seventy show that this and this. Because <laughs> <laughs> that shit doesn't make any sense, but it's no. funny. So looks like Energon gum. Oh, no, no. got to offer him a drug. Uh, Mad. Oh, now they're all going to beat him up. Oh, yeah, they're robo yeah. lizards now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, fuck you. Now we're just going to eat you instead, motherfuckers. Robo lizards. Yeah, I think I, had that, I think I had that little. Bubble, yeah, that this car too. I think at some point. Why not? We've had Robo Lizards, we've had Robo Squids, Robo Fish. Why not? Yeah, yeah. I actually in one of the band, the the band like Like, dressed up as a guy up on the up on the chair. Is that Robo Alien from the movie Aliens? (laughs) Kinda, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man. Robo piranhas. Did they call them piranacons? Uh, probably. <laughs> oh, uh, the shark decons. Yeah, which was like the guys from the beginning of the movie. Okay. Make you walk the plank. 
Yar. Obviously, he's not going to be innocent. <laughs> oh, just wait. Really? Oh. oh, he falls off himself. No, no, no it, they, they released it, so they... So either way, you're fucked. Even if um, you're innocent, um, you're still food. Okay. That's still such an iconic sound. Yeah, yeah I always, I always fucking love that sound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Bullies. Fuck. <laughs> the giant. Because you suck. Obviously not. Oh, this is not business. the end of the movie. Stop him. And destroy the Matrix. I should take up like voice acting. You should. You should. I think you'd be very good at it. Uh, oh. Superpowers. <laughs> Why does this robot have a giant mustache and a beard? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The um. Uh, Why? Well, it, well, because the show thing is cool. Ah. Oh. How? Okay, I'm not even gonna ask. Like, <laughs> what does he transform into? Please tell me it's a bike. Please tell me it's a bike. No, it's it's not like um, uh, it's not like that show that I can't think of the name of. It's a it's a car. Uh. Uh-huh. Uh, is it is it mask I'm thinking of? Maybe GoBots. Yeah, it's either GoBots or mask I'm thinking of, where like the kid has a little thing that transforms into the little, uh, like a unicycle type thing or whatever. I think I think it's Max I'm thinking of, or or GoBots, uh, one or the other. Should have released the power of the Matrix. Oh, man. Why can't he get the Matrix out now? There you go. Are you trying to figure out how to activate it over here? One for the team. It, this, it, it sounds weird hearing Spock oh, say just, die. It just blew up. Yeah. So weird hearing Spock say this stuff. Well, he's not Spock there. Uh, he's, he's always Spock. Uh, 
Tá you can't handle the truth. No way to <laughs> Oh. Transform into cars, which will help. Shark to cons. They also play this song too. I think. Those things are ugly. Well, yeah, they definitely play the song too. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think they do. I think they do like a whirlpool. Drive around real fast. Because, you know, cars can do that underwater. <laughs> oh, now they're on land. Now they, yeah. they grew legs all of a sudden. Did I taste it? Uh. <laughs> There's an idea. Just take off one of his tails and use it as a mace. Whoa! Hey, that works. It works like a charm. Look, smashing sure. them all into pieces. Uh huh. <laughs> now they're all thinking about other things. Oh. Oh, run, Robo Squid. Robo Alien. (laughs) (laughs) Gotta add humor in there somewhere, huh? Me, Grimlock. That's the man as a robot. Using a slingshot. That's the best weapon to use against a robot. There's there's no defense against a robot. No, oh, you never know. If you have a slingshot. Your tail. Because uh, how did that? What? How did Grimlock do that? He well, that's just... why. Yeah, yeah. You intim- 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 intimidated them into listening to him and said. Oh, so that's why. Okay. That's why you stop. That's why you stopped and said using the tail. He's like, ah, oh, stop. Listen to me that, instead, motherfuckers. That makes sense. Because I'm a big old dumb T Rex. I'll eat you. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck. Oh yeah, I forgot. What? No, I I thought I, th- I thought Ultra Magnus. Oh, the, there uh, it is. Dare to be stupid. That's the name of the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that. Okay, now that makes sense. Yeah. That that noise in Dare to Be Stupid is the Transformer noise. Yeah. After all these years, okay. Yeah, as I said, uh, this is a uh, the style parody of Devo instead of uh, instead I, of a like instead of like had, a single song parody. I had this. Uh, I had this album. Yeah. Love yeah, this I song. That, yeah, I think the first year I saw the the band, they had a guy dress up as Weird Al or with like the wig and stuff, and come out and do like a. Uh, the last song was this one. Did like an encore, and like I uh, did, and that was like the only time. The only time they they played it was the first year. I've seen Weird Al in concert, so I've seen him nice. do this song in concert. Nice. Yeah, it was actually my first concert I've ever been to. Was Weird Al? Very nice. 
I saw him in Peterborough, like that, like I guess when he was doing his uh, concert, but I didn't have the money to go see it, but I got him to sign something. So it was kind of cool. Is that Portage Place in Peterborough? Nice. Oh. The Space Corkscrew. Yeah. Hmm. Hot Rod. What would we do without you, Hot Rod? Why did those guns look like nipples? I just, you know, hashtag nipple guns. Must be cold in space. <laughs> well, I, I, I would have to agree with you. It would be. Dare to be stupid. Dare to be stupid. It's a good song. It is. It's a catchy song. And now all the da- robots are dancing. And probably the only uh, performer on the soundtrack is still somewhat relative uh, nowadays. Relatively relevant? Well, they're, they're still actually doing it. They're still doing stuff because, like, everybody, every, guaranteed, probably everyone else on the soundtrack probably isn't doing anything anymore. Uh Yeah. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> Old man robot. Good. 90 day warranty. And now they're going to put them all back together and you're using them to miraculously work, right? Um, yes. It's been, it's been a couple of years since I've seen this last. So, which is also another reason why. Yep, this. there he is. There he is. He just reassembles them, puts them all back together. Yeah, I guess that would be the handy thing of being a robot. You, you I, I guess. Yeah, I can put my arm back on. You can't. So stay safe. Okay. Giant nipple man. Look at the. I can't see those guns. Other than nipples now. I, I, I don't know why I didn't see that before, like, the first shot of the movie. I, and until, like, you just uh, had that one little flash. I'm like, yep, nipples. Nipple <laughs> guns. How ironic. Right at the very last minute, a giant yeah. gun yeah. pops out of this oh, no, planet. No, no it's, a, it's, a, it's a ship, isn't it? Is it a ship? I think so. Yeah, because they need to go to Unicron, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's a giant ship. Yeah, because they were like, hey, we need to find Unicron and do things. Oh, I think this is the final battle. Yeah, because he, uh, he stole from Unicron, or uh, Ultra Magnus, yeah. <laughs> uh, still doing what it does, so you're dumb. <laughs> Got <to> try. <laughs> I know it. Oh, yep. Now he's going to transform. Is he... Okay. He transforms into a giant robot, doesn't he? Yep. If, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Transformers do a giant robot. Looks fucking super rad. And I'm guessing it could be a toy. Oh, oh yeah, I think I I think I think it was a toy. Yeah, I I didn't have it, but I'm guaranteed this was a toy. Look at the size of that thing.
huge and has bat wings. Yeah. Punches the planet. As I said, yeah, he's like the Transformers version of uh, Galactus. I was going to say, he better not have a beard, too. Does he look like he has a beard? Uh, I, th- I think a little bit of a goatee, I think, yeah. Okay, but it better not be actual hair like the other one does. Okay, that that's an exceptional robot beard. Yeah. Oh, eats him like a, oh, eats him like a skittle. Just eats him. I wonder what the guy what what flavor would Galatron be? Oh yeah, you probably sound gross like black licorice skittle. That'd be gross. <laughs> yeah, no, no one got pineapple. It, yeah. He'd be pineapple. No, uh, no, that that would be everybody hates everybody uh, hates no, pineapple. No, that, that that'd be unexpected, but decent <laughs> because it'd be sweet. But the black licorice would just be gross because it's a Skittle and you expect it to be sugary. It'd just be gross. True. That's true. Oh, man. Uh, indigestion from that one Skittle. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, as, as I said, the, the gross run, so... Hua. Damn it. Oh, they're playing Dare again. Man, this soundtrack uh, is rocking. Yeah, no, yeah, not that, not that I'm necessarily complaining that because the song's awesome, but this is, yeah, this is the second time we played it. Pinchers. Remember, remember how you said you wouldn't be singing anymore? Well, I, that that one <laughs> can't hold me back. I can sing if I dare. Oh man, dare to be stupid. Oh, is this You can win if you dare. Is this the final final little thing inside yeah, inside lucky, yeah. Unicron? Yeah. Right? The Matrix. Morpheus isn't here. <laughs> Because you are not the one. It's Ke- Smith. Keanu Reeves hasn't been invented yet. Cannot open it. Obliterated. Why is he wearing it like a chain around his neck? Because like- he wants to be like Flavor Flav. Flav. I was gonna say, like, like how come he didn't put it inside himself, like everybody else that had that? Because he does, he doesn't know what it does, so that's why he's wearing it like Flav of Flav. Oh, okay. Because he's a, he's just a hype man for uh for Unicron. <laughs> Literally, right in the butt. <laughs> Slap that ass. <laughs> I mean, yeah this this movie got very adult all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, then uh, <laughs> Triceratops was gonorrhea because it burns. Oh no! Or no? Like, wait, that's or is it chlamydia that burns? It's chlamydia. Yeah, chlamydia. There. Yeah. Not that I would know. Yeah. Not that I would know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. But- that's a whole other podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that's that's next episode. Yeah, that's next episode. How Kevin got chlamydia? No, no, I don't think that one would go very well. <laughs> well, as long as they, as long as you got rid of it, then it's uh, then it's all good. <laughs> yeah, that would be a happy a happy ending. Kevin does not have chlamydia, so that's not a- anymore. Episode. Anymore. <laughs> what I'm not understanding is that why wouldn't those robo suits drown? Like he's in a robot. Well, uh, uh, a all, of, all of them are floating. All of them are floating. I, I so. know, but uh, I, yeah, because I imagine Transformers wouldn't be buoyant. <laughs> no, because <laughs> I guess you know, like ships are heavy and they float, but they're buoyant. Yeah, but I don't, but I don't, I don't see 
transport No, the only reboid. reason we, we won't get into the science on how ships float, but those well, transformers like, would not be buoyant. No. Like, maybe him a, like a tiny bit because of like that the head bubble, maybe like a tiny bit, but not enough to no. keep him going. Not even a little bit. No. Like, like it would keep him alive for a bit. Maybe. Stuff, oh. but, uh, but, but, uh, oh, but, but, hurry, son, hurry! Transform into laser kid. Laser rebels. <sighs> oh, did the did the guy's dad survive? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the one oh, thing, guys. There he is. Uh, it's, uh, Bumblebee hasn't been hurt yet in this because uh, that was like the one trope in like every single Transformers episode is that Bumblebee got hurt. Bumblebee I've... hasn't got hurt yet. Oh, okay. Because I think they kind of did that trope in uh, in the movies, and that's why he couldn't talk or whatever. I, mean, I think that might have been part of it, or at least in each movie he got hurt in some way. Well, here comes space car battle. What does Galvatron transform into? Is still a gun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still sucks as Galvatron. Yeah. Is he? Is he still like space? Go- oh, yeah. What the yeah, hell yeah, is yeah, happening? Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like a yeah, laser cannon instead of just a handgun. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, that's where he transformed into earlier when he uh, disintegrated the uh, stereo scream. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Once he does that, he's kind of screwed as he's a car. Looking, because they breathe. Pew pew pew. Wish. Hot rod. Okay. Oh, and now the Matrix shows up. Touch. Now the Matrix comes yeah. back. He, he, he's able to figure it out, yeah. He just, he, that's all you need to activate the Matrix was to yeah, be to be, to be To be pure of robot heart. Yeah, and to be choked. <laughs> that's all you needed. Uh, so what, yeah, so you have to like, you have to have like a weird kink of being choked. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah to, be able to, to be able to use the, uh. The Matrix. Yeah. Oh no. Just remember that next time you're at your BDSM party, okay? Uh, is, is this the second time they've played the song too? Yes. Yeah. Well, there's only so many songs that they could play in the '80s on yeah, movies, but, man. Yeah, but yeah, but there's there's more songs on the soundtrack though. So, <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Is he going to turn him into Ultra Hot Rod or something like yeah. Ferrari or uh, something? The, the Ultra Rod. He like he took he, 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 he took some uh, some uh, space uh, blue chew and got the Ultra Rod. <laughs> Is that like kind of like? This Matrix stuff is like is like like space LSD or something. Like takes you everything in this Transformers movie is space something. Yeah, Did he just take his leg off. Did he just rip his own leg off. Oh yeah. Well, I guess that's probably where where they were in his body. Like, it's near the leg, I guess, or in his knee. Because it must be it must be like an old robot because his knee's going. Yeah. Yeah, it must be. Let's escape the giant robot. Kind of reminds me of, uh, kind of reminds me of, of, uh, Spaceballs. Oh, it's been, it's been so long since I've seen that. I have to, I have to, it's, I have to watch it again. When, uh, when, when their robot at the end of the movie transformed to this giant maid with a vacuum. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then starts back. Yeah. Up. yeah. That's yeah. kind of what reminds me of all, like, uh, this Ultron. Yeah. Because helicopters fly in space. Yeah, it's because uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, fair chance that's probably where they got the idea for that was probably from us, maybe. But or the touch. Apparently, you can. Mm. Oh, he goes his head. Oh, and he's gone. Yep, and he's like, all right, I'm just going to go die in real life now, too. He went boom. (laughs) 
Mm-hmm. Of course. Can you repeat it again? Oh, I've, no, you I've, I've, repeat I've, it again. I've, Only three times. Just three times a term. Yeah. There is his head. Space head. And then, uh, and then is that later, kind of like leave it. Of course, then, you're gonna leave it as a hanger, right? As and, a cliffhanger. And then later on, the Guardians of the Galaxy go hang out in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Jazz. Scat, yeah, that, yeah, that, brothers. Yeah, brothers. yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was, uh, I guess, and, yeah. Eric Idle, yeah. Eric Idle, there it is. Casey Kasem. Casey Kasem. Complete yeah, Top 40. Chad Nelson, Chad Nelson uh, Nimoy. Yeah, yeah that's, who, that's who uh Hot Rod turned into. Was and Rodham Frank Pratt. Walker as everybody else. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Like half the cast is Frank Walker, yeah. And then, like, in between, in between takes, he was voicing, like, five other shows as well. Oh, here, here's the music. Here's the soundtracks with no K, because, you know, we're in the 80s. So, uh, so first time viewing that movie, what did you think? First time viewing that movie, it was interesting. It was interesting. It was interesting. Um, like, obviously, as I said, it would make more sense if you're watching the show as well, because it's kind of, because when they come back in season four, Optimus is dead. So if you didn't see it, you're like, what the hell's going on? Well... I, I guess I, I would have had to watch again. You're right. I guess I would have had to watch uh, the TV show. But but uh, I, I will say that like out of the show and the TV and the movie, this is the only thing that holds up because the show, if you go back now, does kind of suck. Does it? Yeah. It, oh, it's, man. It, it's not. It's not nearly as good as this. I will say, unfortunately. What about the newer Transformers movies? Uh, the the what the um like the newer Transformer cartoons is all. I, I I I haven't seen those, so I don't know. But like, uh, because this was tied in with the, like the OG, the uh, cartoon. Like, okay, so I still haven't turned mine off. I'm actually still still going yeah, through the credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're on the right? yes. Yeah. I might so, still going to, yeah. So like, look at, well, look at all these names, man. Like they're all done by hand. Yeah. Now, so, these yeah. are short credits compared to movies nowadays. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. So, yeah, especially, uh, like, if they, yeah, especially movies nowadays, it's, like, fucking, like, 15 to 20 minutes, and then... Yeah. Got it, then a three-hour like, movie, a half an hour of it's just credits. Yeah. Oh, no, there's a three-hour movie plus and a half an hour worth of credits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know, it really sucks, too, because there's a few times where, like, uh, with the newer Marvel movies and stuff, like, a friend of mine... That I used to work with I actually worked with the uh, the 3D convergence stuff, so I'd have to like uh, watch one of the movies with her, and she was like, "We have to watch it. Wait, wait and see my name." I was like, "Ah." Oh. <laughs> 40, Forty-five minutes later, uh, was it worth it? Well, well, I got oh, well, was I, I I got the I got the movie for free, and it was at the. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, it, did, it, you get, did you get anything else for free? Uh, no, she, no, it, I, I was there. There with her and her girlfriend, so I don't. Uh... Know but, uh, but, uh, but like it was a girlfriend, uh, like girlfriend, girlfriend, or yeah, they were oh. they, they were they were they were living together. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so I uh, and I uh, but, but it was at the but it was at the theater that was on the. Uh, Gee, I wonder uh, where this was animated. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, they always uh, send stuff off. Yeah, but the yeah. The, the, <laughs> the, the, the the first. Uh, uh, <laughs> all oh, these Japanese more... names. All these yeah. Japanese names right in the middle. Robert. <laughs> Robert Schaefer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phyllis, Mary. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're. Uh, Xerox. What did they photocopy everything? I uh, guess, yeah. Script continuity. Yoko Akimoto. Technical advisors. These are all the people that make sure the Transformers transform properly. Yeah. Because, you know, you have to. A Sunbow yes. and Marvel production. Good old Dolby Stereo. Back, yeah. in, back in the 80s. And the Technicolor. Yeah. Hasbro. Which is neat. Hasbro's still around. Uh, yeah, I... Probably, yeah. 
Yeah, Hasbro still. Oh around. yeah, oh yeah, because if I yeah, there, because I imagine like they probably made all this shit ton of money with the uh, Michael Bay Transformers movies. Yeah, so, Hasbro so still around. Yeah. So they they own they own a lot of things. Yeah. Hasbro Hasbro owns Power Rangers that, now and GI Joe. So G-I-G-I-G-O like G-I-G-O the, and the, the, the two, I think they did the two movies. Is there like an end credit scene? No, I think no. This is like is that it? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Oh, parental guidance suggested. Okay. So we're gonna stop the movie right now. All right. Good. All right. So that movie uh, that that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Yeah, that was uh, a fun movie. I, I do. Yeah. I, I've always enjoyed that movie. Yeah, because like I said that's the one good thing from the. Uh, like I said, le- legit first time watching that movie, right? Yeah. So now, uh, general listener, if you have followed along, uh, you can now you know listen to us ramble back and forth about. Transformers, you know, back and forth, and you can watch this movie with us. So uh, I don't know whether you're going to get it. I don't know whether you have it legally. I don't know whether you have it illegally. But however it is, you just need to watch it. Just start it when we start it, and we'll end it. Just go right to the very end, and uh, you can hear our commentary track for that. Yes, sir. That's always like wanted. It. Always wanted to do one of those, and I don't be so. Yeah. You know what? If if this goes well, if we get a lot of listeners for this one, I don't see why we can't do another one. Yeah, we can do another one eventually. Uh, but uh, you know, I wasn't initially going to say the GI Joe movie, but the uh, I mean, movie, but it kind of sucks. So not the what the that. the live action GI Joe movie? Oh well, well, yeah, they're no, they the animated one because they oh. also did like an animated movie too, which I think like the main Joe guy died or whatever, <laughs> but it, it wasn't good. Spoiler oh. alert for like a thirty year old movie. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I'm but not yeah. surprised that it wasn't good. Not surprised. Yeah, but... Now, how did Transformers do in the box office? Uh, that I don't remember, but I, I Let's look, not, you know, I'm, like, actually, I'm not sure if I actually made it to the like actual like like theater proper, or if it just was like straight to video, or whatever. Well, let's before before we uh, before we uh, end this thing, let's look at the Wikipedia. Even that's though true. that's you know, it's not the best place to get it. 1986. Yeah, 96. December twelfth, nineteen eighty six. I would have just turned five years old, and I would have been like a, a month into being, yeah, because I'm November twelfth, so I would have been like a, a month into being six. Yeah. So there we go. So how did it do? It had a budget of six million, and it made a box office in the U.S. Oh my God, they did horrible. Five point eight million. Oh yeah, because I said like it was just like a drug tie-in with the show, so almost oh, like they did yeah. horrible. I, wasn't this the movie? This was the movie that prevented Thundercats from getting uh, their movie. I think well, I could, could, just because it sucked so bad, or did well, you? Yeah, so, I think so. I think this was what? the movie that prevented because uh, there was supposed to be a Thundercats movie. They had it done and ready to go, and I guess they didn't. Uh, they didn't do it because. Because of how badly I think it was this one, I don't know. I like all day, or maybe in the J. Joe one, because like I, as I said, compared to this one, the J. Joe. One, it, it might be. It s- might be this one. Balls. Yeah, because I'm I'm looking at a thing. It says they they. The Transformers movie received mixed reviews and holds a 58 percent approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, oh fuck. man. Has an average rating of five point three out of ten. Ugh, man, yeah, it's far, it far better than that. I, a little yeah. more than an obnoxious feature-length toy commercial. That deafening rock score doesn't help. Hey, I like the score. The score is good, but uh, and I'd say that more so for the show was definitely like because that's exactly what it was. But I've what this is. I've I've I I hold this movie in higher standard than the show. Definitely. Hmm. Well, I appreciate uh, I appreciate you letting me watch this. I never, never really. It was a solid movie. You know, it was a really good one. I guess a couple people. Uh, it's one more thing. This is it also marked the final roles for both Orson Welles, who was yeah. Unicron, yeah, and yeah, Scat, I... Scatman Carruthers, oh, who died a month after his release. Yeah, and yeah, and I think Orson Welles like probably died like shortly after there too, because as I said before, he was. Legitimately on a deathbed was used. Orson Orson but, Welles died a year before its release. Uh, yeah, or before his release. Yeah, so he might. Yeah, yeah so he probably just recorded his stuff and then 
the and then Scatman the Carruthers died months after. Well, at least, at least he was able to see it to release, yeah, because uh, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I know Orson Welles wasn't able to. Well, that was a that was a really good one. It's a really different episode of the. Uh, There's nobody here named Josh. It was really different. Uh, I'm really really happy that you actually were able to join us. Well, join me this time, uh, Adam. Next time. Uh, Will should be back, and Aaron should be back, so you guys uh, stay tuned for that. Don't have to pull up with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you and your you and your unicron voice, right? You know. All right, so you know, thank you very much, everybody, for listening to, to "There's Nobody Here Named Josh" podcast. I'm Kevin, the host. Uh, normally, Will would say something, and normally Aaron would say something, but they're not here. But uh, but but here is Stump Chuckman instead, and I am <laughs> also on a uh, episode of the Doctor DC podcast. Check that out, and I am also on a couple episodes of the podcast Off My Shelf, which is the host that uh, goes through DVD collection and does two uh, discusses two movies per podcast. So check that out, and also on. Jumping off bridges podcast on a couple though, which is a guy that also another guy from college that I went with that I, just, that I know to, with Loyalist. So check that out as well. I was getting there. Okay, sorry. I was getting there. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, I, I, sorry. I, I kind of, I kind of just jumped in there and did my own. You just thing, interrupted me. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, again, thanks for listening to. There's nobody here named Josh podcast. I'm Kevin. Uh, we are produced by Adam Upper, aka Stump Chunkman. Pow, pow. This guy right here and our logo was created by the amazing Aaron Alessandrini who's I have no idea where he is right now but apparently he's having a very good time um, also you can follow what we're doing on our social media that at there's no Josh on Instagram and Twitter and there's nobody here named podcast nobody here named Josh podcast on Facebook and we're even on YouTube and you can find this podcast wherever you get your favorite podcast so that's me Kevin signing out here's Adam pop pop see you. pop pop See you later. Bye.